फॉलो योर पैशन इज बैड एडवाइस वॉट आर यू सेंग विशाल टिल नाउ यू आर सेंग दैट फॉलो योर पैशन फॉलो योर पैशन टूडे यू आर सेंग फॉलो योर पैशन इज अ बैड एडवाइस Now, this person, how did how did he actually you know started believing that this thing is just for the sake of being there, is there right? Yeah. So this person Bill is an environmental journalist. He became famous for his 1989 book, The End of Nature. He has since written more than a dozen books and became a prominent environmental activist. But McKibben's story basically is a very different story, and I personally wanted to study it, and hence I thought I wanted to share it with you guys also. Yeah, McKibben's story highlights two lessons on how people build working lives they love. Now, this is a very deep thought, very very deep thought. How people build working lives they love. Yeah, I hope it's understood. Now, the lesson one. from this is what you do for a living matters less than you think what you do for a living matters less than you think you know how he he proved this mckibben he built a career he loved as a writer yeah he he was into it completely but at the same time he came across many career paths he could have followed with an equal degree of passion yeah as all of you guys do you agree you picked up something as a career but now you must be having so many other career paths also in your mind like let's take an example of shitalan sanket hade you know they have their jobs they have uh, i serve kari they were also at one point of time considering to you know do something else also put a van make the kids study go to that part of you know villages remote areas where we can you know take the old age people and they maybe you know that's something which is there were many things which were going on in their head but finally they came to one thing and this is what they want to pursue in the long term right do you agree it's it's one of the example now you guys also have to think about as many career options you have right now in your mind please note down and write down or put it into the chat box before i move ahead because i want to have that point very clearly uh going into your head that this is what makes all the difference so what are we doing we are also studying parallelly mckibben story that highlights two lessons on how people build working lives they love now this is a game changer ladies and gentlemen two things that really matter to him are autonomy i'll explain what autonomy means this means control over what he works on when he works on it and where he lives and the second one is having an impact on the world yeah number 1 he picked up writing as a profession he became a writer number 2 at the same time he was having multiple options but how did he decide that he wants to pick up writing the number one thing is of course this he wanted to build something what he loves and parallelly why why should he do this now coming on to the why because he wanted autonomy he wanted control over the place the time and whatever he wants to pursue i mean he he was completely under in the control of the things that's why he picked up this the number one reason and the number two reason is having an impact on the world now can we also parallelly write down If we want to pick up any of the things which we have noted down what is the underneath reason what is behind the scenes reason it should not be a borrowed thing it should come from internal that's why i'm picking this up otherwise i will never pick it up what you do for a living matters less than you think he built a career he loved as a writer he would have got across many different career paths he could have followed with an equal degree of passion which you guys have noted down but two things that really matter to him are autonomy control over what he works on when he works on it where he lives etc 
and having an impact on the world therefore any job that could provide him autonomy and impact would generate passion now this is flip this is other way around people decide first the passion that i want to do this and then they decide that this is why but here mckibben did it other way around mckibben said i want autonomy i want to impact the world if some profession some career option some career path can give me both of this i will make that as my passion wow i was personally mind blown by this therefore any job that could provide him autonomy and impact would generate passion is the crux of lesson 1 we always keep going that way around but if let's say our big why is clear that this is why i'm picking up this as my passion like shrinivasu he is picking up time management as a passion as a discipline coach but why what is he going to bring out of it is that going to give freedom is that going to give time is that going to give flexibility is that going to you got to ask that question to yourself 100 times and then decide oh i want this i want this i want this these are the three things i want basis that i have these three career choices options 4 5 6 7 8 ya yeah, this is getting fulfilled this is getting fulfilled this is getting fulfilled now i should make a career and that's where you will also be able to decide that whether i should stay in the job or quit my job why to quit a job if my job is fulfilling everything if i'm getting everything in my job only why to quit yeah because vishal one day decided to quit that's why because vishal's mentor one day decided to quit that's why generally it happens like that ladies and gentlemen and that's where people fall in a trap type in tp if it's thought provoking and now building it up further this pattern is common in people who love what they do this pattern is common you know what mckibben did is common for the people is in the people who love what they do their satisfaction does not come from the details of their work but instead from a set of important lifestyle traits they have gained in their career for example these desirable traits differ for different people some might crave respect and importance and some might want flexibility in their schedule and simplicity autonomy impact on the world and here are some more you want respect then decide according to that your passion you want importance then decide you know basically this is also going to the days when we did that exercise of core values what are my core values what am i picking in as a profession are that is that linked to my core values or not respect and importance and some might want flexibility in their schedule and simplicity so to build a career the right question you need to ask is not what job i am passionate about doing but instead what way of working and living what way of working and living will nurture my passion what way of working am i a person who loves to work since morning till night up to you am i a person who wants a flexible time am i a person who wants to enjoy live the moments travel the world shall i be a part of that kind of a community where i get that kind of a mindset shall i move from a city called bangalore or bombay or chandigarh and stay at a place where i have such people who value this because environment actually helps you nurture this what job i am passionate about doing is not the right question <laughs> is not at all the right question the right question is what way of working and living will nurture my passion you know simplicity means simplicity as as i'm talking about right now also you know this is keeping the things simple not getting into too much of nitty gritties in fact you are a person let's say ganesh that you as a person you always loved simplicity you always admired simplicity you never loved complexity you never wanted to get into such challenges where the life is already a challenge and we bring more challenges by choosing something as a passion and then we struggle juggle and we are at the end of the day after 5 years 6 years wasting that time we realize oh my god i picked up something wrong now continuing the story 
of McKibben. McKibben was able to generate autonomy and impact in his career only after he became really good at writing. Yeah, if let's say he picked up writing and he was not able to do that properly and in the pro process he was also thinking that you know I'm not able to do that but still what about my autonomy? What about my impact on the world? I picked up writing to get that but now my writing is sucking me. I'm not able to get the autonomy. I'm not able to get the time. I have to struggle. I have to slog. And this is continuing. When he first arrived at Harvard, he was not a great journalist. He was not. His early articles always showed a beginner's tendency towards overwriting. You know, you can easily judge that he is writing, but Kibben's colleagues remember most about him was not about some innate gift of his craft, but rather his tenacity in working to improve it. Because the why was clear, right? I want autonomy. I want to impact the world. Now I have to improve this. And he started working on it. Yes. And this got proved when McKibben returned to the office late night after a Cambridge city council meeting. There were only 35 minutes until the next day's article needed to be finalized. He bet his fellow writers a bottle of scotch that he could finish three stories before the deadline and he won that bottle. Three stories in 35 minutes and all said and done. McKibben wrote more than 400 articles as a college reporter. He next spent five years writing for the New Yorker which publishes 47 issues a year. By the time he made his pivot towards a life of autonomy and impact, moving to the mountains to write The End of Nature, the most famous book. He had developed a tremendous amount of professional skill to support this transition. So ladies and gentlemen, lesson number two. Can you type in into the chat box? After listening to this second lesson, what are you able to make out? Is passion still bigger than skill? Or now skill has become bigger than passion? When we started this session, all of you mentioned passion is bigger than skill. I do understand both go hand in hand. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not only passion. So we have to pick up something where we are actually driven and we want to learn and we want to grow in that field and we will make it sure that whatever level we have to go to learn this skill, we will go there and make it make sure. And, and why are we picking up this? That's also need to be that also needs to be very clear in our head. That I'm picking this because I want a better lifestyle. I want flexibility. I want to stay with my family. I want to give better life to my kids. I want to strain my kids on their passion for which I need time. Can this be possible with my job? Yes. Can there be a better possibility that I pick up something as musician which can help both ways? And in this process, even though we are talking about impact on the world, even though we are talking about autonomy, but money matters. And money is no more a challenge and no more a problem for a person who is skilled. Only if passion is bigger than we will be ready to put efforts to develop the needed skill. Then is it is not still passion taking an upper hand? See Shalini, it is not taking an upper hand. And this simply gets proven when McKibben said that autonomy and as well as I want to impact the world. That was the why. Basis that he decided to pick up a passion wherein he had a list of passions available. He picked up writing and then picked up writing in such a way that he mastered skill, 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 skill. Let's say after doing writing for two to three years, he figured out that this is not giving him that autonomy. This is not giving him that impact on the world. He had the list ready. He could have picked up something else, sports as a passion. And then maybe sports could have given that because he was mastering that in the process. Let me give you an example in my case. And I this is a realization at my end also. If you would have asked me this about six months back, I would have answered the same, that passion is bigger. But today I have got that perspective clearly changed in my head because now I can relate it to my story as well. Let's say I picked up a passion of career grooming. Yeah. And maybe one, one and a half years down the line, 
I was at a stage where I was thinking that whether I'm doing right or something wrong, nothing is moving ahead. And I was also wondering at that point, shall I go back to my job? But then why did I pick this up? That thing struck in my mind that I have the time, I have the freedom, I am not reporting to anyone, I have the flexibility, I enjoy my time with my kids, I can travel the world whenever I want. But that that thing, when when actually I went behind the scenes and understood that if I would not have gone ahead and understood that in deep detail from my mentor that how to conduct a webinar, how to conduct a three-day event, how to run ads, how to have 500, 600 people in a three-day event, how to write content was not known to me. By the way, you guys know it was never known to me till the time I was in job. How to make a YouTube channel, how to become an influencer, how to write content on LinkedIn. What is copywriting? Not known to me. What is copywriting? How many of you still don't know what is copywriting? One is content writing, another is copywriting. Yeah. So just imagine if I would not have garnered these skills every now and then until date, I continue to learn from different variety of people to continue honing because I am not feeling that I am still 100% on it. I'm still just about 30-40%. Yeah, to I this is a journey. This is a process. Today, let's say if I even ask McKibben that you picked up writing, you are passionate about it for sure, and you had a list of passions to pick up, and then you decided to pick this up so that you can have autonomy and then you can impact the world. Along with that, if you would not have got that thing, still would you have continued writing? Still, Vishal, would you have continued? conducting career grooming which you said that is my passion but if it's not creating that impact if it's not creating that value if not giving me that time freedom with because of which i left my 60 lakh rupees of job would i have still continued with that passion so this got flipped shalini for me just about 6 months back when i realized this oh my god this is mind blowing and then i went back to the drawing board and said passion demand and skill circle to teen hi banate hain hum bhi of you are literally feeling that this is really going to the next level now yeah this this is an understanding guys which we have to develop this is the important thing you know one one we always talk about the big why and the second we have to always think about that you know whatever we pick we go to give our heart and soul in it and to master it and to nurture it and to learn it and to gain that mastery in that skill learn from the best of the best in the world read some great books Yeah and I want to share this this entire thing is coming from this book maximize your potential read this till we meet next time I want you guys to read this and come up with your own notions and stories around this you will be blown away author is Jocelyn K Jilai I will put that in the group don't worry about that yeah that you just type in maximize your potential by 99 you you will get it your ability to realize your potential will depend upon three crucial factors Yeah it it is also coming down to one thing realizing your potential number one your willingness to hone your skills yeah this becomes the biggest factor after going through this lesson number two to take bold risks you know when i look back i realize that i've done that number three to put your ego on the line in pursuit of something greater this is literally literally mind blowing But if you are doing these three things properly ladies and gentlemen i can vouch for you you are on the right path you are on the right career path where you are going to maximize your potential and not letting ego come in not letting of course honing the skills which is very important your third point is on the screen so you guys are not able to understand is what you it's very simple when you have decided something as a passion you 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 know get attached to it you know you feel literally that oh vishal ne career grooming uthaya 2 saal baad family ko kya jawab what is the answer he is going to give to his family his family is going to ask you decided to quit your job it was your decision you decided to pursue this career grooming space after 2 years nothing is moving ahead now you are going back to the corporate world now i am hurt oh it's my ego I decided I pursued now I'm failing I'm short of money I have to go back to the job people will keep saying all these things to you guys how do they know what pain you have gone through 
and then you have to keep your ego aside and think about that my big why is not getting fulfilled my autonomy is not getting fulfilled boss and my flexibility is not getting fulfilled i am living a life which is not a great life my lifestyle is getting compromised then why did i pick this but now my people my family is saying oh you were the one you picked up oh you were the one who decided now continue now continue now here is my ego coming in oh let me try and prove it let me try and prove it let me give it another 2 years let me give it another three. waste waste continue wasting 2 years gone 3 years gone 4 years gone 5 years gone 6 years gone and nothing is moving however you have the choices you have the choices you know that this moment i know where, where am i and what can i do can i go and pick up something else or can i continue doing this that's up to you keep the ego aside yes shalini yeah so i want to give you some nine lessons which you will start adapting from now onwards in your life if you want to hone such skills and pick up something which you are passionate about and also making sure that this is actually getting linked to your core values your core values yeah we 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 i know that we are going through the lessons from sir bob berg also about go giver and all those things genuine influence is actually all about that if you deeply think about it he is actually under the line talking about that only you know when he talks about law of reciprocity that means that you did something you want to give back you want to do so much so many things for the society but at the end of the day you should also get rewarded for that that's what is going to drive you yeah so are you ready for the nine lessons which you have to implement from now onwards yeah can i have all of you back on camera or you guys are having your dinner manjunath ritutosh rakesh abhishek parshuram charu Sheetal, Shikha, Sunil, Rajan. Yeah, that's okay, Bharat Rajan. You will get the recording for this for sure. So, the number one lesson: we do work that is first and foremost intrinsically rewarding. Intrinsically, intrinsically, it should say to you that you know that this what I'm picking up is rewarding. But that does not mean that we solely create for ourselves. We want to make a real and a lasting impact in the world around us as well. yeah that's both the things are parallelly possible intrinsically rewarding is what mckibben did and also impacting the world so both the things were clear type in see if it's clear lesson number 1 intrinsically we should be doing something first and foremost which is intrinsically rewarding you should feel it you should feel it that you know this is going to be rewarding to me and then it can also parallelly create the impact to the world both the things are possible we thrive on flexibility and are most productive when we feel fully engaged think about your job think about the project think about the work you been allotted if there is flexibility you not been completely all the time being asked questions question questions you are most productive when you are fully engaged you know again this break takes me back to those days when i decided to join hevels i was given that power i was given that authority to build the category from scratch and i was literally enjoying that stuff fully engaged yeah when you are picking up your passion when you are picking up your skills when you are becoming something when you are wanting to become something whenever you are becoming to do some wanting to do something for the society just imagine yeah is is the flexibility there yes it's there is is it most productive yes it is productive when i do, do i feel fully engaged in this yes i do so this will become easier for you to understand whenever even if you are wanting to grow in the company wanting to create an impact there wanting to do something extraordinary wanting to make sure that these are the things which i want to carry on in the company outside the company pursuing something extraordinary doing something which earns you the passive income these are the principles these are the lessons which you need to keep in mind make a note of them and then decide you know i i also you know was meeting some of the very good people in the community called naturotarian and this these people you know told one lesson on the other day one of the person said that i went to hill stations with one of my accountability partners and we decided to spend two nights over there not writing there this time goals of 2024 but writing down what i am not going to do in 2024 what am i not going to do in 2024 what i hate doing 
that's the magic it's not always that i have to fill in my bucket list tick mark tick mark tick mark tick mark tick mark tick mark it's also something which we need to learn that i have to say no to these things this is something which i'm not supposed to do i don't love doing this i don't feel engaged i am not getting flexibility in this these are the things i should delegate this is not something which is my cup of coffee i don't want to do these things i don't love but immediately it can happen no but over the year yes slowly and steadily one by one gradually but i have the list ready that these are the things i i really don't want to do it you know you have humongous potential you have humongous capabilities you have so many things to achieve you have so many things to do but some of the things which are like not enjoying just like a nightmare just like you know you feel like it's a wastage of time so let's note it down yeah it's not always that i have to pick up we demand freedom whether we work with companies or on our own to run experiments participate in multiple projects at once and move our ideas forward yeah so pick up those things where you feel fully engaged lesson number 3 we make stuff often and therefore we fail often actually laying down the second point clearly to take risks yeah so till the time you experiment something new till the time you do certain things where you have that fear i might fail it's okay you guys failed in hundreds of interviews that's why you are here a kid fails before he starts learning cycling before he starts learning walking before he starts doing anything he fails 100 times yeah so be ready to take risks and fail that's where you will discover your full potential that's where you will learn that this is what is working for me this is what is not working for me do not hesitate do not decide in your head only with the fear that this is not going to work so i should not do it this is my favorite related to office politics we have little tolerance for the friction of bureaucracy old boy networks and antiquated business practices little tolerance and each and every one of you when you are noting down what the things you are not supposed to do this is what you need to work upon this is what you need to note down you know you should, should not be that should not be even allowed there is no not even a little tolerance for the friction of bureaucracy and those old boy networks yeah as in when the organization grows these old boy networks start forming and they misuse the system yeah they they completely forget the values with which they have born been born and brought up so you you should not bother you should not in fact tolerate not even bother i am using a right wrong word you should not even tolerate if this kind of a thing is prevailing we need to work out you know where everything you have to do <laughs> everything yeah you are you are your own marketing you are your own sales person you are your own businessman you are your own accounts person everything is possible in this today's era with artificial intelligence in place everything is possible you got to decide that i want to make it and this is what i love doing if you like this video and you want to share it with your friends do not forget to comment like share and subscribe to my youtube channel because we believe in adding value and that's what we have done in this video similarly we gonna come up with many such stuff many such videos which will help you come out of your overlooked career to going to a well paid career yes looking forward do not forget to like share subscribe and comment on the video